Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Innkeeper, and today I would like to welcome you all back to City Skylines, the city of drunkards. Last episode, we created ourselves this lovely oil industry right here. We are now getting ready, or at least in preparation for placing in some actual buildings. So, <laughs> we don't have any yet. I suppose saying created is probably not the right way to do it, but we have prepared ourselves to have an oil industry. We've got some trains. I created the metro system right here. It took a little bit of really awkward handling. I, I, it doesn't really work correctly. You sort of do anything like this. It's not really going to probably come up other than now. Why the hell is it working now? Okay, that's a bit weird. Anyway, for some reason it worked, but only if you went in this sort of particular direction. So I just sort of did that. It didn't work if you did it slow, like small, but uh, and I mean it's not working now because I have a station in the way. That works. That why does that work now? Okay, some of these didn't work. I don't know why they're now choosing to work, but oh well. It took a little while to get it to do what I wanted it to, which was what I just showed you then. There we are. So the station's a little bit further down, and this station is now sort of tilting in a slightly different direction. Hopefully, that is a little bit awkward. It might be because. Uh, what we might need to do is, before we continue onwards, let's make ourselves some paths just so that everyone can get around. This is something you need to definitely think about. I think you can definitely forget about it. Just getting some paths in so that everyone can easily get to their required destination. We don't need one there. Uh, just one sort of here would, was a good idea, really. Um, although what we'll do is just get it fully connected. Just looks a little bit odd otherwise. And a path right here would be nice. Just another way for them to get around. There we go. So one right there and another one right here. I mean, I'm not just sure if they skip some of the sectors anyway, but I'd like to just give them as much way to get around as possible. And we are missing a few easy ways to traverse our land for pedestrians, that is. Something to think about, I suppose. I guess it might be causing a few problems. With, what am I trying to say here? I'll tell you what that though, that will, it definitely is getting rid of space, but it probably will cause some traffic issues if we have pedestrians walking around all across the road. Instead, instead of going from here, walking all the way around, and then going into this section, they could just walk across these paths. Which is a good idea, we might want to do the same thing over here. Where is our section shed? What we might want to do is make a road across here, and another one all the way across there. There we go. So that definitely helps out. Do we want it to be all along here? I don't think so. Just sort of an easy way to get over to this part of our, well, section. At least making sure that it's easy to walk around as a pedestrian in, and well, from the metro station. But there we go. Now let's actually get some oil in. Well, there's something to be waiting around for a little while. So before we do, let's just make sure the district is set for oil. It is, and let's make sure that we are getting sort of every little piece. It does seem to be the case. We are going to have a lot of traffic issues over here. So that's just something to bear in mind. It's not going to be perfect, and we will have to work around it when uh, when in the time comes, I suppose. Just for a double check. I don't really pay too much attention to all of these. I really should. They are definitely quite useful. Oh, this is average land value. This is what I was looking for before. I wonder why the value is so low over here. I suppose because it's an, an uh, industrial sector, so the smog is definitely lowering the value. Apparently, you can have pure green. I wonder what... I mean, we've already got sort of cyan right here. Looks like around about this color. And then a few sort of blue spots. Kind of cool. I'm looking forward to seeing some more of that. But anyway, let's stop getting, well, let's stop getting distracted. And now let's get some industry placed in. Well, what I will do first is, I was about to lay down a sick beat there. I won't have any industry along these very big roads right here. I will on this side, just because it's a little bit smaller, but on this one, I want to sort of keep the piece as it were. So what I'm going to do is have some industry on these roads first, just because it's easy for our metro station to get to them. At the same time, can we access this road from this way? No, this is the exit, I think, so it's not too easy to get over here, but it should be easy enough. Uh, having one along here might not be the best idea in the world, but we'll just cut that bit off slightly. Cut it off! Oh, we get all that placed in. And one right there. And all along here as well, because it's not really a bad idea just to keep going from that point on. So we'll just see if the demands gain, I suppose. Well, if they become any higher, what we'll need to do is get this power right here. 
to just sort of move on this spot. There we go. That should give us the power we need. Oh, look at this. All the oil buildings. Fantastic. And it looks like we need a lot of educated workers for this. That's really good for us. Yeah, the minorities seem to be the uneducated workers. No highly educated, though. It's quite interesting. Just mostly educated. They seem to already have workers on this pumping station right here. Which is surprising, really, because it doesn't look like it really needs anyone there other than maybe two engineers just to make sure everything's good. And also because health and safety would say, you know, you need two people, otherwise what happens if one of them breaks their leg or something and can't get to their phone if it's not on them? Anyway, that's you know, something for another time right now. So we've already sort of met the demands for our industry, which is great to see. Now we need some more commercial, and we kind of facilitate that by placing more on this side, so we will go ahead and do that. We have any? Do we have any traffic issues along here? I don't think so. It seems to be running fairly well. Uh, what about over here? Just keep our eye open. Uh, seems to be okay along there. This is rather slow, unfortunately. I wonder if we have our train coming up here now. Oh, we do. Nice. Okay. So there's our train, although it completely passed. And this one's coming along here, stopping on this. Oh, no power there. Okay. Need to sort that out. Um... Um, right there should be fine, yeah. Get get this hooked up and also get the uh, piping done as well. We'll be able to get some geothermal facilities placed around here soon. Eventually this will turn into just sort of a normal industrial sector later on. Because the oil won't be here forever. Now I did completely forget about facilities. I knew I was forgetting something. It's always the case, it's just too late. So it's not completely too late. We should be fine. We will need power over here, though, unfortunately, which is going to cause power lines to sort of be spread around, which I don't like. But they're in opportune areas, I suppose. Around here, we seem to be going fairly well. Things seem to be going fairly well. More commercials being placed in, but the demand is still high. Um, how are we doing over here? Still have a lot of icy roads, which isn't great. How's our geothermal doing? Yeah, still good. We might wish to expand ever so slightly. We'll do it on this side. We'll expand over here to this other industrial sector. It's weird to see just how small this sector is in comparison to some of these larger ones that we're going to have over here. And this very big one that we have right here. Which seems to be working out fairly well. I've not seen too much congestion other than this bit. Okay, that's running a bit slowly. Why is that so slow? They all wish to come down here. And then come down there. What? No, you're not meant to be doing this. Why is that a thing? Okay, let's change this. I don't want you to do that. That seems terribly inefficient. You're just skipping this section entirely. There's no traffic issues now. I mean, this is still a bit of a problem, but it's moving, I suppose. If it was bad, it would be sort of blocked up all the way back to this section right here, which would cause... Massive delays, although now that I'm seeing it, it's starting to take a little while. We have so many vehicles going in and out, that's the issue. And I don't know where they're coming from. Apparently this is a, I don't know, vehicle, well, creation factory, a vehicle factory. We're creating all sorts of different vehicle types. Mm. By that I mean they're picking up their goods, I suppose, which is a bit weird. Because they still have to come in and it's still awkward, but okay. There we are. Yeah, there's something, apparently. Now our industry requirements are going up ever so slightly. So we will go ahead and just add some more industry along here. Um, is that where the oil is? It's a good point. Yeah, we do have oil along there. Is that part of the... We're not apparently using that last little smidge there. Just double check and see where all the oil is. So it's mostly around this section. We've sort of got the lighter patch. And then there's a lot around here as well. So it's not too bad. Ooh, that's very smog-like. Not good at all. You can already see the mist forming. We are going to need another... Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, we're going to need another incinerator plant right here. We'll put it there because it's easy to maintain. And it's in between the snow dump. Which I suppose isn't really a good thing. It will help it melt, okay? There's method to the madness. Right. The only problem I have with the uh, cargo terminal that we have right here is that it's sort of 
awkwardly placed. In fact, it should really be the other way around in the future, because eventually I'm going to have vehicles coming down here, and they'd have to go all the way around and hook up from that direction. It would be very awkward. The only problem with that, of course, is that our train station is sort of our train line right here. It's hooked up in a very particular way. Uh, what we will do, though, is get some industry along here now. Um, around here? Uh, it should be down here, really. So there we go. We'll get the industry along here, just because it's a nice patch. At the same time... Is that farmland? No, that's... Oh, that's oil. Okay, that's just sort of a little bit yellowish. Um, do we need more commercial around here? Oh, yes, we've got lots of space at the bottom that I'm missing out on. Do we want this to be low-density housing? I suppose I do, yeah. So we will have a bit of low-density housing, not on the inner side, thank you. And at the same time, a little bit of low-density commercial as well. Uh, not that section. Should really be doing it in sort of bits. There we go. So that should help out with a little bit of the demands there. How are we doing for industry? We are definitely growing, which is nice. How's our power going? Oh, okay, we could do a little bit of a power upgrade. We are making a new industry. What needs oil? Here yeah, we've got an oil power plant. We might want to make one of those right here for the time being. It's upkeep though. When, well, 1,920 versus 200 a week. 0 to 20 megawatts versus 120. So it ends up being... Uh, well, no, it, okay. More advanced wind turbines do end up working out. Mm. Although I think they take a little while longer to make up the cost, yes. So this, in the short term, costs more. In the long term, costs less. I think, anyway. My maths is correct. and I, I didn't really do any calculations, I'm not going to lie. I just thought, hmm, those numbers... Probably not going to add up. So, so there we are. We should really get rid of these. They're kind of pointless to have right now. Since they're not really that useful. I need to get a dam at some point. I've just never... I've never... I've not found anyone. Never, never seen any use for it again. Not what I'm trying to say. I've not found a correct use for it yet. Just because I still don't fully understand how it works. But at least we got the trains hooked up. So that's nice. This is the only efficient train station that I've got, though. So keep that in mind. It's sort of a good in and out. Very quick. Although, for some reason, they're coming down here and dropping off the waste. I don't know why. But there we go. Ooh, what's this all about? Burn down. Obviously, we need to get emergency services down here. Do we want the emergency services along this road? Or along this one? I suppose along this road makes a lot more sense. We should do that. So, a fire station right here. Oh no, at that corner would make a lot more sense. We can get everywhere there. Yeah, emergency services right at that corner. And uh, probably another one right here as well. Do we get all the way down here as well? Or are we going to have to make a... I imagine we can get down here, but I suppose making a fire station is not a bad idea. We also need to power those two. Just give them our own little wind farm. That'll be fine, right? Let's find the uh, power lines. Um. Okay. I'm trying to think of how I can do this without causing much of a bother. I suppose I can't do it without causing bother. Come on, does that count? Surely that counts. Yeah, there we go. So we have our emergency services, which is great to see. Expanding down here is definitely the next big thing. I think I should do that now. So high-density housing. How did we do it before? The interior seems to be high-density housing with a mix of industry. Industrial. This is sort of the other way around. Not industrial, commercial. Then again, I think I was going to put office buildings along the center right here. So I suppose that's what I could do. Yeah, I don't mind sort of the entire middle section being office buildings. And then the exterior can be sort of high-density housing. And then this can be high-density commercial. Along with that section right there. Is it a good idea to have this filled in with housing? Well, it's not industry, so 
There's not going to be too much dropping off. Well, no, okay, no, it's commercial, so we are going to have a few drop-offs. Something we need to think about as well is piping as well. As well, as well, as well. It's going to say as well a lot, see what happens. You never know. I could get jumped, which would not be a great thing. It would, in fact, be quite bad. So it would be very bad. But I'll continue talking bollocks as I usually do. Like, I'm trying to fill time right now while I just do uh, the same task that I've done pretty much a thousand times. It's going to fill up the dead air. Dead air sounds very familiar. I think it was like a really bad... Well, not bad. I think it was a, a zombie big brother thing or something like that. Sort of a weird series. I'm not sure if the BBC made it. I'm not sure what's going on. I think Big Brothers, that's Channel 4. I can't. I don't know. I've not watched TV in a little while now. So I can't remember. Although I'd still watch panel shows. But that's that's uh, that's different. It's on the end now, guys. It's on the, the, the other player. But that's fine. Mm. Ah, that's all good. Don't worry about it. So yes, um, this isn't right, right though. Because we still need to connect it up. Then again, we have a lot of heating on this side, so this can be where the new heating goes, yeah. I don't like that at all, though, but that's fine. It's not fine. It's, uh, it's absolutely horrible, but okay. Um, is that how we want this to work out? No power, of course. We need to get that sorted out very quickly. We'll get rid of that power line eventually once we get the rest of it connected. But as you can see, expansion is beginning. Hopefully, this were, this uh, weird junction that we have right here will be able to... Is it called a junction? What's this called? Clo the interchange, yeah. The, or intersection, whatever. Yeah, the intersection right here should hopefully be able to withstand the pressure of our new developments. We will find out. If it doesn't, we'll just end up making the clover leaf. Until then, however, we will continue onwards with our lives. It's coming along rather nicely. There's a fire around here. Two of them, in fact. Why are there two fires? And there's an emergency service vehicle trying to get to these buildings. Okay, that one was successfully burnt. Well, it's, okay, too late. It took too long because of the traffic issues we have on this road. Which are never going to get any worse, I suppose, because we're not expanding any more over here. Well, then again, that's not true. We still got a lot of expansion right there. So I lied. I lied again. I do apologize. It's constant lying. It's a problem I have. God, I love this bit. It's just kind of cool looking. I think last episode I did say I was going to connect these two up. I think this is polluted, though. I know this is polluted, so maybe I don't want to do that. I was going to make other roads here to connect up to another sort of housing area, but now that I'm thinking about it, this will inevitably, ine uh, start again, inevitably be a, a housing area anyway. This lovely island that we have right here. I wonder how that's connected. Let's just quickly... I think that's a, a plot right here, so we won't get all of it, unfortunately. Uh, when is our next level? Oh. Colossal City. That will be when we can eventually make the nuclear power plant, which is kind of cool. Whether or not I'll make it. I do need other forms of power. I'm being very boring with my power methods right here. I might want to sort of go into other methods. Would be a good idea. How's traffic? Uh, seems to be okay. I'm not noticing any bugbears. So that's okay. What we will do is get our little paintbrush out. And continue onwards. By just adding more industry all along this road right here. That should look quite nice. At the same time, we're going to start expanding over here now. Not there, though. But you have to, just this lovely little chunk. Not several chunks. And over here, we can start expanding on our residential, light residential zone. So this section along here. Is this really the right place to start? I want to get some commercial in. That's mostly why I'm over here. And I can get a power line hooked up from this place. So we'll, we'll watch it get built up first before we do anything. Then again, starting over here would be a much better idea. Because it's a lot nicer. But it's too late now. 
And let's speed everything up. Is this as fast as it can go? Yeah, it is. Feels really slow. I'm so used to being on fast speed. To the point where now I believe it's just normal speed. We still need to eventually get some of these placed in. I forgot what they were called. Uh, oh, wrong, wrong bit right there. Um, what the hell's that? Quay? The quay. Get the quay in there. Flood wall. Okay. Neat. Make some flood walls if we want to. Sure. I, I don't see why not. Unless, of course, I'm not expecting any floods in the future, which I'm not. Unless, of course, there's a natural disaster, which is in the form of a flood. In the game that's built in, that is. Not referencing real life right there. Of course, there is. So I'm just sort of doing a little bit of light expansion over there. What's this going to be? I think this is going to be light. Uh, oh, power problems. Yes. We're having a few power issues over here. We do have a solar power plant right here, but it doesn't produce as much as I would like. It's too sporadic. But it's kind of cool, which is why I think we should have one. I did just say I'm being, I'm being quite dull with my power methods. I want to try something a bit different. So what I could do is have a... Yeah, solar power plant right there. I suppose having it right here is a good idea, because it's just just out of the way of the in, uh, industry, while also being quite far away from everything else. So the power output, apparently sunshine intensity is 100%, so 190 megawatts. It's great, so we're getting a little bit of excess power, I feel. We're not getting that much of an excess power, so we might want to make a few more of these. The only problem I have is that it's not going to be night time. Well, it's going to be night time soon. All right, we'll continue with our expansion over here. And over there. This can be some more commercial. They're just sort of scattered. Which I suppose isn't a good idea because I do believe it causes noise pollution. Uh, that's wind, health... Where am I going? Uh, oh, here we go. So yeah, it's causing a little bit of noise pollution, which isn't great. And is definitely lowering the land value. Average noise pollution. Yeah, there's quite a bit. There's loads around here, which is really bad to see. I wonder how quickly they're getting rid of the oil, though. I think it does tend to be rather quick. Uh, what are we doing right now? What's our income? So specialists, so I imagine... This is the income we're making from the oil industry. I think so. Oh, yeah, we have over it. There we go. So 5,000 from oil. And you can see just that very small spot that we have right here. It's a really great injection. Is it one that we need right now? Though? That's the thing. Maybe we should have saved it. for. Wow, we are already out there and here as well. We completely drained this bit of oil. Okay. So I suppose now this is just going to inevitably be a section... Where we... Wow, that was so quick. I wasn't expecting the oil to run out that quickly. Kind of a shame, really. We're not expanding over here right now. I don't know why. Since there is a demand for industry. We'll rub them out and put them in again. See if they appear. Maybe it was just a bug. Well, I'm hopeful, okay? It's not the end of the world if the oil is going... Well, will run out this quickly, though. Because it means... That we will just have to turn it into a normal, uh, normal industry. Which is still fine because it's far enough away and it's an okay spot for one. And So I'm not too worried. Although I don't like this little spot just sort of not being used up. But it is unique. And it means we can use up this giant chunk of land right here for probably an even bigger high density housing section. Like we have a few blocks here and there but nothing too insane. This still requires expansion. Oh, there's a fire over here. Something we did forget about, once again, is emergency services. So one right there is a good idea. And that tends to get everywhere along here, so that's fine. And the same thing with the police. They should go over there as well. 
Education's not something I'm going to focus too much in. If we look. But <laughs> I lowered the budget and we still are lower. Well, yeah, we're lower on un uneducated... Well, we're lower on the total percentage of uneducated workers. Which is really bad. 87% graduated citizens. My word. That is insane. Okay, that's fine. It's not fine. It's really bad. We will hope... To continue expanding. Do we want to make this high density? I really do. I just want to make this more high density housing. Is that office? High density commercial, yeah. It's just this entire strip right here. High density commercial. This can be high density housing. I'm just sort of taking up space right now. I'm not sure if this is a great idea. But I don't see us having any issues for the uh, foreseeable future. And this can be sort of low density housing right here. Not taking up the section in the middle. And we still have plenty of room to expand, and I will end up doing that. In fact, maybe making commercial over here is not a great idea. How are we doing on power right now? It's going fairly well. Of course, it is daytime. So I imagine we're making a lot of power from this. Power output is 190. Is that what it is right now? Sunshine, I mean, the sunshine intensity is 100%. So I'm assuming we're making 190 megawatts. There's probably a way to look, at that, look this up. Is there a breakdown? Buildings connected... Um, there has to be a breakdown somewhere. I've got this, production and consumption. But it's not really telling me exactly what's making my power. Or what's t sort of doing the best job. Of course, it helps that my budget is so high. But I'm making 15 grand a day, so that's pretty good. We are losing citizens, however, because it looks like they need more commercial, which is a damn shame. Okay. We can get a big old spot of commercial right at the bottom there. It's a nice view as well for commercial. I would definitely shop along here. What the hell's that? Oh my god! We found the world border! Who... who... what kind of kids are just drawing lines in the sea right now? This is absurd. The graffiti is disgusting. Oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> I've not seen this before. Oh, that's an even better. Aurora Borealis. I'm not going to go back to the kitchen right there. I took a screenshot. Um, probably. Okay, yeah, the power's running a bit low. Mostly because this isn't connected. Yeah, it would, would help if it, it, if it was. Right there. I, yeah, I took a bit of a screenshot right there. I forgot that taking screenshots with fraps does lower your frame rate. Or well, it does something. I'm not just sure if it just completely screwed up the recording or something funny like that. But, oh, well. There we are. We'll forget about it for for now, I suppose. But there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is today's episode of City Skylines. We've done a pretty good job. We've expanded our oil industry right here and becoming a good old oil baron. And we've also expanded over here with our industry and commercial, not industry and commercial, with our commercial and residential. We still need to expand a lot more and also make this area a little bit more dense because at the moment there's a lot of empty space that is extremely unnecessary. We need to make another roundabout, more roads, and it's going to be beautiful. More roundabouts, lots of more roundabouts, bridges, roundabout, roundabout bridges, it's fine. I keep going through those jokes and I feel like I'm just, well, I don't know what I am right now, but I will find out. Really, these trains are... Beautiful. <laughs> There's quite a few of them coming up and down here, though. I need to see how worthwhile this really is, because there's a good upkeep on it. Trains carry cargo, uh, carry goods and raw materials into the city or transport them outside. Hmm. In the city. So do we need these near the industry as well? Or commercial? I don't know. I can tell you how it really works. Maybe I should look this up. But there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, with my multi-outros, as I usually do. I will see you all next time. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, like and stuff. Follow me on Twitter. For updates on my channel and Twitch for live streams. I've been the Innkeeper. You've all been fantastic. And I'll see you all for another episode of City Skylines. The land or city or world of drunkards. <laughs> Oh, his outros get worse and worse. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.